That makes him two for three in this game. And Brandon Ingram at that size able to survey the entire floor and make a play. McCollum against MP. Oh, nice D from McCollum. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Back to Hayes. Outside Ingram. To the paint. Here's McCollum. Hurdle grabs a miss. The Spurs have gone six of seven and looking good. MP with it. McCollum covering. And stolen by Hayes. Here's Daniel. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Here's McCollum, and the deficit down inside single digits. While making the floater look effortless, McCollum has the body control and touch to drop that kind of shot in consistently. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. And the Pelicans with possession here. The Spurs making their last shot. San Antonio's gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Driving to the basket. Score that basket. His eighth out of nine shots here today. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. To the inside. The sell shot is good. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. New Orleans has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. San Antonio's gone five of six from three-point land so far. Okay, on the court right now, second quarter for the Pelicans. Hayes is out there with Jonas Valanciunas. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then it's Brandon Ingram. And it's Daniels in at the two-guard spot. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pass to Sohan. MP against McCollum. MP, the pass to Pirtle. Clock at six. Now MP. 4-3. Gets it to go. He's now 9 for 11 on the night. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Pass to Hayes. Quarter number two and about a minute in. Johnson against Ingram. Over Johnson. Here's Daniels. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Inside, Daniels really uses his agility, getting nimble to find himself a shot. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. <laughs> and with a drive like that, you have to ignore the scoreboard and just appreciate the energy he's still playing with. 
And he's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. Hayes finds Ingram. Hayes with a screen on Johnson. Knocked away. McCullum outside. Outside for Ingram. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Spurs. hurdle has got four rebounds now. Yeah, bottom line for this Pelican squad. They need to get better on the defensive end. They may have to get more 3 and D type of guys on this roster. They've been the more poised team tonight, and the score reflects that. Yeah, just really pouring it on right now, trying to take away the opposition's motivation to keep competing in this one. Here's Ingram following the bucket by the Spurs. And finished off by Hayes. And he has the right partner, Ingram, creating the offense in the pick and roll, and that's a nice read. All right, so about the Pelicans. What has been holding them back? Well, B.A., it's definitely not the offense, especially with the healthy Zion. If they can find a way to have greater consistency on the defensive end, then they can take a big step. Opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. The Spurs making a switch here. Vassell's checked in. Now here's McCollum. His last outing, he had 18 points. Three-pointer, no good. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. MP, that was good. MP's got seven points for the quarter. The Pelicans have gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. McCullum, the pass to Hayes. Now here's Ingram. Shoots over Johnson. That one rolls around and rims out. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. New Orleans has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Allie. Thanks. Yep, that one's good. MP's got 30. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Ingram against Johnson. Pass to McCullum. Six on the shot clock. Here's Daniels. He's guarded by Vassell. McCullum way outside. He can't get that one to fall. San Antonio goes the other way with it. Last time they met was right here, and they were able to come out with a win. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. Well, the great thing about watching that game was that we saw it through their offense, and they showed a few different looks that they settled into and played well. McCullum. Hurdle with the block. They retain possession. Valanchunas, good. San Antonio's gotten seven of eight three-pointers to go in this game. MP, the pass to Johnson. Back to MP. Fires the three. Sinks it from distance. MP's got 36 points. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Spurs. They've been pretty intimidating on the defensive end, knocking away shootings, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do, because right now they feel like the faster team. Johnson finds MP. Lays it up and banks it in. MP's got 38 points. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. McCullum outside. Pass to Daniels. Let's go with a three. Vassell with a rebound. Vassell's got four rebounds now. MP is doubled. Here's Sohan. On the wing, MP. He's got 38. Looked like a simple play. Oh, man, MP. We can't afford these mistakes. Well 
The Pelicans shooting 35% so far in this one. San Antonio's got it going from deep. Three for three so far in the quarter. A nice shot by McDermott. They've had a hard time shutting down the three-point shot. Nance outside. Pass to Alvarado. The cell against Jones. Can they get it? Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll... Are you crazy? Where's the foul? for success in the NBA. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. And the NBA trying some new things. One of them is the Elam ending, playing to a target score. So far, it's used in the All-Star game. Maybe more? Well, there's been talk, B.A., about using it in the midseason tournament, if that ever becomes a thing in the NBA. And I think we're on the road to seeing that come to fruition. I actually would love it outside of the midseason tournament and do it for some regular season games because that's another swath of games that become more entertaining and more interesting because you're introducing the target score ending. Now here's Jones. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Nance, covered by MP. Goes back up. And it's laid in by Nance. Nance has got eight points. Well, Nance can be quick, and this time out hustles his opponent to the offensive board. MP right side. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Last season, moving into first all-time for coaching wins, Grant. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one organization, the Spurs. Now... When he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. Marshall, he's checked in for New Orleans. And what you like about MP is that he doesn't take himself too seriously, which helps him mesh well with other players and coaches. Jones against Vassell. Nance the screen. Here's Jones. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Jones has got four points this quarter. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. San Antonio's got it going from distance in the second quarter. Four of five from deep. The drive by MP. And the layup is good off the glass. MP's got 42 in the game. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? Vassell against Jones. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Well, Willie Hernan Gomez does things the right way, this time executing in the screen and roll. MP outside. On the wing, Vassell. Here's Roby. Fires the three. That one goes. Now he's one for two. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Pass to Marshall. On the wing, Jones. He's guarded by Vassell. Nance with a screen on Vassell. Jones drives in. It's tipped. Great anticipation. Roby does have that 7-3 wingspan. Here's MP. Jones grabs the board. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. 56 seconds left in the second. Now the Spurs moving it up the floor. And here's MP from outside. Gets the three to fall. MP's got 45 points. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Outside Jones. We've got 33 seconds left to play in the first half. Takes the three. Fertile grabs a miss. 
Hurdle's got six rebounds in the game. The drive by MP, and he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 47 points. Watch how MP uses that dribble move to open things up. He got the defender way out of position. Outside Jones. Inside, pass to Nance. To halt the run. That one no good. And so it's San Antonio. And they're up an insane amount going into the break. Their efficiency the has been down. off Order the this. charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Welcome to halftime, folks. Before we talk about the game, let's check out who won Player of the Month in both the East and West. Looking at the Eastern Conference, Joel Embiid. The big man, Joel Embiid. Just so patient with his moves and decision-making now. His combination of size and feet work are incredible. He has that Akeem Olajuwon gene. Looking for him to win this award many more times to come. And now let's look back on that first half of play, one that has not been pretty for the New Orleans Pelicans. And one of the main reasons they're down right now is because of their re- That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with a third period. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. Through the first two quarters and change, his perimeter shooting continues to be spot on. Yeah, you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit. And there's the eight-second violation as they can't get it. The cross Any additional motivation in this one? You look like you reached an extra gear out there. Yeah, um, the coaching staff has been setting some aggressive goals for me to just keep, you know, getting better and better. And hopefully every time I'm out on the floor, you know, it looks like I reach a new gear. What was your goal for tonight's game? Simple. To get a new high in a teammate grade, man. Now that's the proprietary metric, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um... Man, we got the best in the class analytics department. And Phil Boyer has done a great job putting that together, so shout out to him. Um, you see it all over the org, too. Not just, you know, b-ball ops. Like my man Freddie Novak in marketing. Shout out to him as well. Uh, he's all about... You've mentioned analytics and Freddie Novak quite a bit recently. Mm -hmm. Is that your way of giving a vote of no confidence to Athila Akhtim? Hey man, uh, my parents always told me not to say.
Okay, okay, it's that time again. Who's up first? Hey, Nate, what's on your mind, man? Yo, congrats on winning your first Player of the Month award, man. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Nate, appreciate it. How does it feel to be uh, actually recognized as an individual? You know, Nate, man, it's an honor, you know, but I take it as recognition of how well our team is playing. You know, if we weren't winning games, no one would be voting for us or, you know, for any awards for that matter. You know, so I take it as encouragement to keep grinding. But still, it has to feel good, personally, <laughs> after some of the doubts you face, oh, right? Oh, man, listen here. It feels great to know that I've, you know, shown that I belong in this league. You know, as to the chatter, man, that don't affect me one iota. You know, I'm focused on the game. Man, there's, there's all sorts of, you know, armchair GMs around that drive time. And, you know, at the end of the season, my performance will speak for itself. Wise, wise words. Thanks, man. Congrats. Of course, of course. Uh, seems like we're done here, huh? All right, see you guys later. Saw you on 2K TV, boss. Was Chris Manning as nice as he seems in person? What's the latest? Nate White just dropped with potential trade details. Just a mixed reaction on social. Yeah, he just went on Top Takes Daily to talk about it. I mean, I got it all queued up if you want to check it out. All right, let's do it. So, so basically what I'm hearing right now is that Athela Akpin is considering offering MP in three first-round picks wow. in exchange for Shep Owens. But, I mean, the organization is obviously, uh, this has this, like, internal debate about whether the price is actually too high, but this is what it's looking like to actually get the deal done. Thank you. It's about time. Bring Shep home. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong, Perk. They'd be giving up a huge haul for a player... They could have drafted just a few months ago. If I'm team president, Phil Boyer, I don't see how I can sign off on this. Are those picks all unprotected? Well, obviously it sounds a little ridiculous, right? But, I mean, from what I'm hearing, yes, you're correct. But a fellow Opkin was told, told to, to uh, quote, blow them away in order to get, make this well, happen. Well, he did. 
I- I'm sorry, but that's that's way too much. Am I the only one who thinks this is ridiculous? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. If Phil Boyer had let his GM do his job and draft the guy that he wanted in the draft in the first place, he wouldn't even be in this mess. Mistakes were made. Now clean them up. How did they make a mistake? MP looks every bit the prospect Shep does right now. I don't see how, how I don't see how you can justify this deal without admitting that your organization is actually just in complete disarray. This is a mess, all right, but it has nothing to do with MP. <sighs> okay, I'm confused. Because what is this part about Phil overruling Othella? Well, apparently Shep was Othella's guy before. Okay, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Because it always seems so personal to him. Like, well beyond some sort of clash with Freddie. Well, it's both. <sighs> Look, I did some digging, and Phil hiring Freddie just kind of pushed him over the edge. Like, he wasn't your biggest fan, but once Freddie was hired, he was convinced that you were part of some plot to overthrow him. Bro, this is insane, man. <laughs> nah, it's kind of just Othello. So what do we do now? Do we have to do anything? I mean, that trade is literally crazy. Phil would never sign off on that. I mean, would he? I, I don't know. Seriously? Look, it's hard to get a read, man. I mean, Boyer keeps his cards close to the vest. So now it's hard for you to get a read. Look, Othello has been using Nate to leak his agenda to the press. Right. So it's time we do the same thing. Oh, these trade rumors are wild. I ain't losing sleep over it. Nor should you, okay? You are good in any hood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. You know what? And it is kind of funny that the so-called Mr. Nice Guy mm-hmm. keeps on running his mouth in the press so much. <laughs> See, he's trying to prove he's a baller with his mouth, but it don't work like that. No, yeah. sir. Yeah. And the only thing that bugs me is...
MP, what's up? You ready to put some work in? Oh, man, you know why I'm here. That was good stuff, man. Let's keep grinding. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great? I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is just the beginning I need a big change Help me feel like living I need a big swing Home runs I'm hitting And I'll never look back Moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams We all want things But what you gonna do for it? How you gonna move for it? What you gonna be? And do you believe Yeah. 